Hello everyone, how's it going with you all today? A, a new video from Passive Passion Online Income where I'm going to be talking about the main tricks or strategies that will help you to get to a level where you start making six figures from your self-publishing business and how basically it helped me to reach to this level where I make six figures from my self-publishing business. Now, for the ones that have tuned in and are watching my videos for the first time let me tell you who i am my name is cassie also known as cassie mohammed i'm from dubai i'm an online and offline entrepreneur and at the same time a business investor who invests in startup businesses and at the same time establish businesses around the globe so let's get back to the topic of today that is what exactly does it take for a person to reach to six figure level when it comes to their self-publishing business so to start with, you need to understand that self-publishing business is a business which works and runs on the demand based on Amazon algorithms. Now, if you think that you are passionate about uh, gardening, you're passionate about, uh, uh, let's say, wood, wood making or, you know, carpentry. If, and if you think that putting on books are going to be making sales without doing your proper research, then you are doing something very very foolish I made similar mistakes when I was getting started I was taking the market for granted I thought any book that I come up with is gonna be a big hit or is gonna turn out to be a successful venture mainly because I felt that I've got excellent persuasive writing skills due to which people are just gonna come and buy my books but I wasn't looking at this from a business perspective that's when I started investing in some really good courses that uh, gave me the nitty-gritty details and also uh, realized that for me to keep moving ahead in this sort of business and to make an impact I had to literally do my homework and research well so that I bring in those six figures which I have been yearning for years I started with this business in the year 2015 and uh, for almost 12 months I was literally struggling to be honest with you guys yes for almost 12 months I was struggling I just couldn't figure out the process wherein you know you just uh, nail things where your business runs on autopilot and uh, that so-called quintessential definition of passive income works for you so it was a good I mean it was a great learning experience it taught me a lot it also taught me not to take any market for granted no matter where I'm coming from because uh, you need to respect the systems you need to respect the algorithm of whichever online entity that you're dealing with and Amazon has a so that was a so that was the first mistake I made wherein I realized I wasn't doing proper research while finding the keywords and uh, so my advice would be spend more time on this particular aspect of the process because this is where 70 percent of your <clears throat> 70 percent of your work is going to be involved in if you can find profitable keywords profitable niches now here's the important thing just because if you find profitable keywords and if you think that it's going to be a double whammy success you're going to be absolutely wrong my friend you need to ensure that apart from finding profitable keywords you also need to find profitable niches so that your book continues bringing in money you know for generations to come <clears throat> second important thing is uh, the covers I just felt cover isn't that important and, and you know I, I could just publish any uh, cover by, by by designing them myself now to be honest I my designing skills suck I was really really bad at it and I'm still bad at it because uh, this isn't this isn't my forte so I just felt okay I mean at that time what I was doing was I was thinking of you know saving money doing a lot of cost cutting here and there but then after taking mentorship with some successful self publishers I realized that if I had to treat this business as a real proper business I had to be thinking like an entrepreneur and that's when I started investing in quality book covers started hiring quality book cover designers and the rest is history so cover plays a major role guys do not neglect this aspect of the business okay invest in good designers and show that your cover stands out they are really really appealing you know it really 
entices the readers to come click on your book check out the description check out the summary and ultimately buy them so do pay attention on hiring good cover designers and getting the best covers <coughs> the other important thing was uh, yeah the process of hiring good virtual assistants i didn't i didn't uh, realize this i just thought that okay i could do this myself i could do the reviews perhaps and you know all this uh, uh, trivial aspects of the business myself but i was wrong because uh, i just felt that it was uh, taking a toll on me okay i wasn't able to focus on the important aspects of my business due to which my business started suffering one way or the other and uh, hence i i just started spending time interviewing vas virtual assistants i even uh, had to fly down to philippines to conduct good uh, some re some really good workshops hire hire the appropriate virtual assistants for my business and today uh since i run a mentorship business where i consult and train people apart from my coaching and training programs i also provide them my own virtual assistants you know to to save them the time and also those uh, silly mistakes which i made as a self publisher when i was getting started so that's the other thing hire a good va ensure the va is experienced ensure the va follows your instructions ensure that the va meets your deadlines these things are crucial guys do not neglect them then comes the <coughs> other important part of uh, translating your books and putting them out in uh, foreign languages it could be spanish it could be italian it could be portuguese it could be danish it could be french now i'm not going to go down uh, too much into details here but then yes of course if you are are my mentee you know which are those foreign language markets that are more profitable so if you do take my mentorship yes you do receive all the relevant info you also receive all the relevant tools and the backup or or the team that comes with it so do not neglect the foreign languages market if you really really want to scale things up do put out your books translate them and put them out in in the foreign languages too now which foreign languages i'll just give you some few tips spanish french italian these three are excellent markets if you're thinking of translating your books and putting them out there so you'll have to do this you'll have to do the research yourself find out the translators on fiverr.com find out the translators translators on on uh, upwork and uh, do the needful then comes the other important aspect which is uh, building an email list now i wouldn't suggest you to build an email list while getting started okay i would i would advise you to aim for a figure of at least five thousand to seven thousand dollars per month all right once you're making this much amount of money on a consistent basis do start working on building your email list which is going to be very very essential towards the uh, culminatory stages of the business okay so do not neglect this aspect too it's 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 vital to have an email list so that <clears throat> when you build a brand or an authority in a particular niche and you want to cater or focus on building a solid good rapport with those readers or customers for that particular niche it's important that you keep churning out some interesting good newsletters on a weekly basis on a monthly basis and keep them updated with what are the new books or products or services that you're going to be coming up in that particular niche so email list is definitely going to help you and consider it as a as an asset guys because it's not just for your self publishing in future if you want to come up with a new service or a new training program or a video course you can cater to, to them as well because you never know who out of your email list would be interested in let's say a shopify business you know that that you are thinking of starting up you never know so do give consideration to building an email list as well <coughs> so overall guys these have been my important lessons that i have learned that have got me to a level where i am today where i make six figures i easily make uh somewhere between 8000 to 12000 on a monthly basis this last month i made around $9500 in total however the month prior to that which was uh uh july i made uh, $12800 and in june i made around uh, $8800 So this coming month I hope I make somewhere between 10 grand or above. However, do know that in the month of uh, December, uh, sorry, November, December, Jan, my income 
really spikes up like crazy and goes in the range of 15 grand to 20 grand on average and that is mainly because of the festive season and also the uh, demand that people have when it comes to buying books because people love to buy lots of books and give them as gifts to their friends to the relatives to their acquaintances etc so these three months i mean the last phase of the year or the last quarter of the year turns out to be a blessing you know for all self-publishers like me so if you're a self-publisher who's watching this you know what I, what exactly i'm talking about so those were my tips guys and uh, i hope you've learn something from this video and i hope you do not make the mistakes which i made because one way or the other this is a heads up for all of you who are just starting out who are perhaps making the same mistakes that i was making so do not do that you know if you really want to know how to make uh, six figures from a self-publishing business then i've just given you all the important tips and uh, information that has helped me to reach to this level now more importantly I oh by the way I forgot to mention one very important thing uh, that is uh, the role of a mentor okay mm, if you guys are stuck in your business okay and if you really feel that in spite of putting in lots and lots of efforts you aren't able to make it or aren't able to reach your level that you expect to be then please hire the services of a mentor now I'm not pitching myself I'm not saying that you have to hire me as your mentor of course there are there are some some good mentors out there but you have to do the searching you know if if you do come to me yes i'm going to train you from scratch no matter what you've learned you got to come to me with a with a blank mind okay and i'm going to take you right from scratch so that you reach to your expected level asap and it is guaranteed i've literally trained 30 to 40 students by now around the world and by the by the grace of god i should say touch wood i haven't had any unsuccessful students till date so find a good mentor guys finding a good mentor will save your time will save your money and will also help you save committing those mistakes which every newbie or in every most of the tom dick and harry make while getting started with self-publishing business so those were my views and those were my thought and those were my thoughts on how exactly you should be working on your self-publishing business so that you can reach to a level where you make six figures like me if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up if you do have any questions put in the comment section below if you do need mentorship from me send me an email my email address will be mentioned in the video below in the description section okay keep rocking keep publishing and crush it guys take care that's it from me god bless Bye bye